hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel before we get into the video i just want to take a quick moment to thank my members their names will be on screen now i really appreciate you for supporting my channel in whichever way you can whether that is by joining the membership or by just being a viewer silent or otherwise but if you do want to become a member then you can go down to the description box and you can follow the link there to join the membership the benefits of the memberships are from the first tier the shout out supporter you will get your name on screen the second tier you will have the added benefit of a bi-weekly members only live stream and for the third tier you will have an additional benefit of uh, members only videos that i upload on the weeks where i'm not live streaming again the details are down below for joining if you want to join we have a great community we have a lot of fun and yeah thanks again so much for supporting me it really does mean the world but let's get into the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is ilona i'm also known as shikar transformations i'm an online health and fitness coach and i'm also a bodybuilder and today we're going to look at Amberlynn reads uh let's talk the one that she literally uploaded an hour ago from when I woke up. Perfect timing because I will get this video up today because I want to pick a winner from the Phoenix Rising from the TikTok video that I uploaded the other day. Let's get into picking a winner, shall we? So if you are interested in joining the Phoenix Rising, which is my eight week transformation program, it starts on the 10th of January. Then be sure to email me on the email down below or in the description and I'll send you out an introduction letter. And basically I have different training plans for different levels of experience with different goals. There will also be uh, semi bespoke nutrition plans based for, based on your goals. Uh, it's all whole foods. You are expected to weigh your food out and it's more of a way of improving healthy lifestyles getting into fitness, getting into training, getting routine, creating some discipline and stuff like that. But there's a Discord with the community, so it's um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to try and do something about your fitness and your health if you want to. So, but let me move over so we can pick a winner. So, you can see the URL here. I have already stuck it into the box. I have filtered the uh, comments on a specific te text, which is Phoenix Rising. And let's just get the YouTube comments, how many there are. 221 comments with this particular text. So let's pick a random winner and let's go. Maddie Hurley, you are indeed the winner so let me take it and snipping here just snipping a snip here all right so that is that done let's see what uh ah i didn't do my fucking screen record now sorry guys i just realized that i thought i pushed the screen record button and it didn't screen record at all but you know i can do the screen record now show you like look this is what came up Maddie Hurley did come up as a winner sorry I can't do it again I've already typed everything in now that's really annoying for fuck's sakes uh, let's get into and see what Amber has to say she's been away for a few days and she? she's been sick I'm still a bit sick as well I'm a lot better than I was I was quite sick over the weekend uh, I'm a little bit bunged up still but luckily no coughing really anymore and uh, yeah yeah, just uh, just a bit sort of like nasally and bunged up, which probably will be like that for quite some time yet. But anyway, let's see what Amber has to say, shall we? Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk number five. I'm pretty sure this is number five. Hopefully I'm right. Good if you want, can we try again? Try again. Oh yeah. So I've been a wee bit MIA. I apologize. You know, it all started with me spending Thanksgiving alone. So then that just put me in a really weird headspace. I didn't feel like uploading. And then you guys, I got sick. I had the shiver. So um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for Christmas and I still don't know. I mean, it's coming close. There's a couple of interesting men I'm talking to, but I have to go on a date with them first before anything comes from it. Both of them are not from here, so they probably don't have family. So who knows? Maybe I do have like an actual mom date for Christmas. That'd be nice. But we, I don't know. That's, oh, dating, who knows? You never know. So uncertain. But I found this really nice hotel in Varna. That's apparently dog friendly as well. It's got a spa and everything. 
So what I've done is I've reserved it for Christmas evening and Christmas day, leaving Boxing Day. I'm just going to get a suite. It's like 300 leva, which is like 150 quid pounds, which is quite a lot of money. But I'm not doing anything else. I'm not seeing anybody else. I'm not buying presents for anybody. So if I'm not doing anything and I have no mandate, then I'm basically going to take myself into a nice hotel with my dogs. I'm going to order room service. I'm going to go to the spa. I'm going to go into the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi that's in my room. I'm going to have nice big continental breakfasts. Sit in my robe and just chill the fuck out for a couple of days with my girls in a hotel room. Maybe go for a walk around Varna. Go up to the forest that's there. Why not? Why, why should I sit at home here on my own? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take myself to a hotel and have a grand old time with my, with my dogs. <laughs> and I'll probably live stream as well, but I can do that from the hotel, so. I was like frozen to the bone and I had a fever. So my brain went directly to COVID. So I did get tested for COVID and it was negative. If I would have just waited a little bit longer, we would have noticed that I actually had cellulitis. In the last couple of months, I've gotten cellulitis. She, I was just about to say, it doesn't she had that already, not that long ago. Lettuce twice, so that's very weird. I make sure to take care of my body, clean my body. So the fact that I'm getting these infections is very frustrating to me. When I immediately noticed that it was cellulitis, I made a doctor's appointment and I'm on antibiotics. I am feeling a lot better, like I have no fever. The only thing is like, when I stand up for too long, I get super nauseous, that's it. Like my leg was highlighter red, it was truly terrifying and now it's just like slightly pink so we're doing really good i love taking the antibiotic i feel like it's just going through my body doing what it's supposed to be doing but i just want to say thank you guys so much for being patient with me and another thing i want to talk about is my youtube schedule as you guys know i am uploading monday through friday and each day has its designated slot of what the video is i personally don't like it very much i wanted to give it a try for a hot minute so we did it for weeks so i actually think i'm gonna switch it up i still want to upload monday through friday but i don't want it to be like designated slots i want to be able to upload a vlog when i want or what i ate today when i want the only <laughs> she did have a good little run i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take that away from her i know that this is like she could be trolling here to be fair um because this is kind of what amber does just trolling about her upload schedules I think I don't I don't understand why she it is so complicated because I try to follow an upload schedule schedule I don't know why I can't speak I do try and follow an upload schedule to the best of my abilities but obviously life happens sometimes and that's fine I just don't think you should make a whole fanfare around it just like I try to upload a reaction Monday Wednesday Friday I try to upload a, a vlog on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the moment I might try and upload reactions on Tuesday and Thursdays too and then on the weekend I might have a bonus reaction or a bonus vlog at the moment before Christmas because I want to upload every single day and maybe twice a day if I can but I'm not going to commit to twice a day because I don't know some days I'm just really tired sometimes I'm really busy if you say you're going to do something and stick to a schedule you kind of have to stick to it and I know she, I know she doesn't put a lot of work into her videos she puts some work into it I'm not going to take that away from her but it's not that hard to at least if you don't want to at least stick up, to, stick to uploading every single day for those five five times a week. Because what you can do is like you can just pre-film in advance. Like I'm doing that at the moment because I am committing to doing more uploads. What I do is when I wake up like really early. I didn't wake up too bad. Today I woke up at 4.30 which is quite good for me. Normally I wake up like 2.30 or 3.00. So 4.30 is like not that bad. But normally what I do then is I just get ready and I'll film like a couple of videos. Or uh, I cut like two videos now that are in the bank and I'm filming this. This goes up today. I've got two other videos that I need to edit still. I mean I have to edit this as well obviously. So you just have to be prepared and just put in a bit of extra work on some days compared to other days to make sure you can catch up. It just shows that she has no, no real work ethic basically. I don't know why I'm talking so much, probably the coffee. Um, she, she has no commitments and no real work ethic. So if she was to ever not have YouTube, it'd be very difficult for her to succeed in the real world, in a normal job. Because you can't be like this in normal jobs. You can't just pick and choose what you're gonna do. Excuse me. Good morning. Are you okay, Rosie? What's up? What's up? What's up, my, do you wanna cuddle? Do you want to cuddle? Is that what it is? 
Sorry guys, I just had to say, I just had to do a morning face wrap to my doggies. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, her in the real world. Yeah, like she's never gonna succeed in a real job because she just hasn't got the discipline to do what she needs to do every single day. Be there at eight o'clock, have your lunch at 12. She can't deal with that structure, which is not necessarily her fault because she kind of grew up on YouTube and made her money that way. So, you know, it is what it is. What is it, my girl? Do you want to come? Right, so we have a little Rosie with us. It's not often she comes. She's being needy. You're being a little needy girl. Hmm? My little princess. She's not so little anymore, actually. You're bigger than your sister, huh? Yeah. You're bigger than your sister now. I can't wait for her to have her operation. Poor thing. <laughs> what are you guys doing? No, Daisy, you can't come too. It's not, I'm not big enough for the both of you. I'm not big enough for the both of you. <laughs> what is she doing? What are you <laughs> Guys. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. Daisy. Hey. Be nice to your sister. Hi. Troublemaker. Be nice to your sister. <laughs> Freeze rod. Sorry for the dog distraction. Most of you like my dogs. If you don't like them to my dogs, I don't know what to tell you. They're, they're never going to go. I'll make this very clear that I literally, if you don't like my dogs, that's absolutely fine. But they will always be a part of my channel because I love them so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure most of you love my dogs. So, because they're super cute two days that still have designated slots is i'm still going to do let's talk tuesdays and i'm still going to do weigh in wednesdays as for monday thursday friday those are just going to be random videos what i feel like posting okay so now let's get into the questions and the topics that you guys have for me at what point will you be getting additional scans to be sure all is clear after the cancer so i have been doing every scan that they schedule me to do the only one that i currently cannot do is an mri which that is what i'm working towards you know i'm losing weight but every scan i have done has come back good and what weight does she have to be to fit into the machine? Is it like a weight thing or is it like a circumference thing? I think it's more probably more a circum. It's probably both, isn't it? You probably have to be a certain weight because of just bear bearing bear loading capacity. Is that the word? The weight that they can carry, as well as like you need to obviously fit into the hole. Positive results. Do you plan to ever go to college to get any higher level qualifications for other career paths? I feel the free time you have, it'd be the perfect investment and there are plenty of online courses and degrees to choose from. Honestly, if I was, it would definitely be psychology. That has been like a very, very intriguing topic for me. I remember when I went to college before, I got to take one psychology class and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, psychology is interesting. I agree. I think like psychology, psychology degrees, usually speaking, like in the UK at least, like that's all I can talk about it because like that's... I didn't go to school in the UK, but I I did get my degree in the UK. I have an open degree in business and finance. And I got that while I was working full time. It took me like seven years, but I got it nonetheless. Psychology degrees don't really hold an awful lot of value unless you go up further in your education in terms of like you get like a PhD, maybe even a master's. I'm not sure. But otherwise, like just getting a psychology degree is like a really standard generic degree. That's pretty easy to attain. It's one of those subjects that like, it's not, uh, it's not super useful unless you actually continue on to study for, to become a, um, unless you continue on to study for a master's. It's, more, it's, it's like a more of like a social sciences sort of subject. <sighs> and I'm sure I've offended lots of people saying that. And I don't mean to, it's just, my interpretation of things and sometimes I interpret things wrong you know you could say that doing fitness and health and nutrition is not useful either so there you go <laughs> I'll just shut up now it is something I could definitely look into but it's like I I hate to think about paying for more college like ugh. you've been very vocal about things that you want from your partners in a relationship other than money what do you offer to your partner I, I don't offer money to my partner. I will say I'm very much the person, if I care about you and I love you, I will give you my last pair of socks. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is like, I do become very giving in a relationship, but I am so grateful 
and just happy that I'm in a relationship with someone who has their own job. They have their own money. They buy things for me. Like that is very new. Like that's no shade towards my exes, but that is like a very new concept that I'm not used to. I it's kind of sad, isn't it? That she's basically only managed to have relationships until now with people because she's kind of essentially bought their love. That's not nice. I couldn't, uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to, like, I personally don't know if I could date somebody that earns a lot less money than me. And that's maybe harsh for me to say, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be the main provider, especially if I want children. I want to be with a man that's financially stable and that can support us both. And I don't think that makes me a gold digger or anything. It just makes it so that, like, I work hard for my money. I want somebody else to work hard for their money too. And if you have like no goals and no ambition and you're just happy doing the basic like i've dated guys that are on minimum wages in fact when i met my ex-husband he wasn't on very good money and he was renting a room so i'm quite open to seeing people's potential and i'm quite open to dating people that aren't necessarily established but at the same time I don't know, I'm just gonna fucking set some standards for myself, basically. I don't want a fucking guy that's like, that has no ambition, that has no goals, that's just kind of living paycheck by paycheck. It's interesting because like sometimes people just, in, in this day and age, it's like, I just feel like it's almost, if you have certain criteria or certain preferences in a partner, everything is deemed to be like discriminatory. And I'm obviously always open to learning about things like that because like I'm not I'm not from that generation. I am 35, so you know, like this whole everything being woke, there's I think some of it is good, some of it is bad. But also sometimes it makes you think twice. It's like, oh actually I don't like this in a partner, but is that because like I am now being discriminatory or is that because I am now setting unrealistic expectations and at the end of the day you know what you want and you know what you like and that should be okay too at the end of the day like my preferences sexually and what I want from a partner that's nobody else's concern really but mine hello Daisy do you what is it what is it Faye what is it missus do you want a face rub do you want to come do you want to come okay then come on little bummy little bummy Little miss. Oh my gosh. This is... Okay. Okay. Well, let's continue with them. I think that I give my partner love, unconditional love, kindness, loyalty. We laugh together. Not only are we lovers, but we're best friends. I feel like I give them like the stuff that I crave in a relationship. It's kind of like that cliche quote, treat people how you want to be treated. I firmly believe like treat your partner how you want to be treated. I feel like that goes for like any sort of relationship though, like even friendships, like treat your friends how you want your friends to treat you. How do you feel now that you know you weren't powerful enough to take apathetic facts down? We all know you got a God complex when you did it and thought you succeeded. You're completely wrong. I was not trying to take down their whole channel. I talked to them literally via email. We corresponded actually quite a bit and I yeah about that like at the end of the day you have to be really careful if you just upload somebody's content completely and like i'm not gonna lie like i use their content too so maybe i'm no better but um this is why it's important that you do make your content transformative and uh that you make sure you do add in bits and bobs of um you know words and t or text or something like that so I, th I think their channel has come back so i like the little compilation videos that they always did um, and I guess if they're gonna do live streams, well, they th she's not live streaming anymore anyway, so there's no nothing to worry about there. And now it's YouTube. You've got to be careful. Like the reality is, is that also if your channel is dedicated to just reacting to one person, it could be considered bullying, like or harassment. Like I'm not the one that's making the rules, and I'm not saying it is necessarily. But if Amber or Food Beauty were to decide to go after certain channels, I think they would stand a very good chance in potentially taking them down. So I don't know, this is why I've personally always diversified because first of all, like, I can't just react to the same people all the time, it gets boring. And second of all, I don't I don't wanna be reliant on just one single pers person for income. You know, if Amber falls away from me, at least I'll be able to still do other things because I can react to pretty much anybody. That, like it doesn't really matter too much to me. So, but you know, each to their own, obviously do what you want to do with your channel, but it's, uh, I don't think anybody should be surprised if 
if they ever were to turn around to certain reaction channels and try to strike him or get them that taken down, they'd probably stand a really good chance of doing so. I'm not saying they should or anything, I'm just saying that's just the reality of it. I told them how bad I felt about their channel being taken down, so when I saw that it was back, I actually was like, okay, good, because that was not my goal. My goal was just to prove, please do not upload my full video to your channel. What do you look forward to the most once you get down to a more manageable goal weight? Traveling. Traveling, traveling, traveling. I have some some things in mind up here and I'm so excited. This one says, here we go again. Phase two of the cycle, y'all. Someone said, I'm still betting on phase three by New Year's. I'm just like beyond confused because I've been on phase one for months and months now. Like, I think she's been doing pretty good, to be honest. I mean, she could do a lot better. I'm not going to lie, but at least she's like pretty much consistently losing weight. So even though it's not an awful lot. She still lost like what, like 60 pounds or 40 pounds or something like that in the last few months. Are you guys ever gonna stop this whole cycle thing? Because clearly we ain't doing that this season. Like that's gone, that's a bye-bye. It really isn't that hard to pick up a camera and vlog for a day, even if you're sick. <clears throat> I had a really bad fever. Like my brain was being fried. I was saying things that was like so dumb. I literally told my girlfriend, I was like, <laughs> this was when my fever was at its highest. I literally said, I feel like we, I could feel I know the texture of our heart. <laughs> That's when I knew my fever was literally making me delirious, which is a thing and it's very scary. Not only that, but when I tell you- Yeah, you can, you can get delirious from fevers. I don't think anybody's doubting that. I was nauseous. I had zero energy. I was shivering so bad that I had three blankets on top of me. I, I you want me to vlog that? Like what? Why did you get another artificial Christmas tree if you just bought a beautiful one last year? So when Becky left, there was a lot of things that we obviously bought together. I kept some, she kept some, she kept the tree, which I'm glad she kept the tree because I prefer the one that I bought, my new one. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Seriously, what are you going to do if slash when YouTube falls through? I'm going to apply for jobs. Yeah, she's gonna struggle getting a job. Not only has she been out of the workforce for so long, she has zero skills, she has zero qualifications, and she just has no experience. She literally has had like a couple of jobs for a couple of months. It's not like she can fall back on previous experience or anything like that. So, I mean, I've, obviously there's always jobs you can do, like working in McDonald's and stuff like that, but I can't see our girl doing hard labor though. Because <laughs> fast food work or retail work, it's not easy. Like, you know, it's it can be quite stressful, but... Um, you know, if you've, you've got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Maybe she'll start OnlyFans. <laughs> I've had a handful of jobs. I've always been really good at my job. I just don't understand. This is like such a hot topic that people are asking about lately. And I think it's because my views are down. But you guys have to realize I still get pretty good views. Like my views have not affected me at all. So I'm, I'm okay, I promise. Do you realize you can't possibly be 30 pounds away from the weight with Destiny? And that we can see for ourselves that you're at least 100 pounds off from what you're claiming. I'm literally not lying at all. I don't know how else I can prove to you guys that I'm not lying about this. Like there's literally absolutely nothing that I can do or say to prove to you that I'm not lying about my weigh-ins. There will literally always- I don't think she lies about her weigh-ins. There's no benefit to it for her. She's uh, I could tell by her face and her body as well that she's losing body fat. So I don't think she's lying. Be trolls who do not believe me. And once they do start believing me, they blame it on an illness. It's like, I could never lose weight just because I'm actually fucking succeeding. Do you think the live streams hurt your channel because you're getting a lot less views? Someone replied and said, I think it boils down to her being boring on her own. She doesn't have the creativity or personality to carry videos on her own. Yes, live streams completely hurt my channel. But at the time, I was doing what I thought was right for my mental health, which in return made my mental health worse. It was like a mess. And as for- I should do another live show actually. I'll definitely do one for Christmas. Maybe I'll do one this weekend. I've got a... Uh, I'll see if Alika wants to do a live stream maybe with me. That might be fun. We'll see. Maybe I'll do one on Friday for the channel. We'll see. See how I feel. Shall I do one on Friday? Do you guys want me to live stream on Friday? Friday evening? My time, obviously my Friday evening. You have to let me know down below. Maybe I'll treat myself to a nice bottle of port. I won't drink a whole bottle of port, obviously, because I'll be fucking shit-faced. But I might have a glass of glass or two of port with maybe some cheese or something like that. Shall I do that on Friday? Port and cheese live stream? Sounds like quite good fun, actually. I'm seeing Velika today, and I think we're going to do sushi on the weekend. But I might, I might see if she wants to do port and, port and cheese. I haven't had a cheese night in a long time, actually. 
Hmm. If you want me to do a port and cheese live stream, comment down below a glass of port or wine and a block of cheese. So I know if there's enough comments, I'll set one up. <laughs> For not being able to do videos on my own, I've been doing videos on my own this literal whole time I've been on YouTube. And I was trying to go back and I was trying to compare what are the differences now compared to like the eras where people enjoyed that era more. And I noticed that I do a lot less mukbangs, trolling videos, but for the most part, things are the same. I'm showing you guys weigh-ins, I'm showing you guys outfits, try-on hauls, what I eat. Like these are all things that I have done on my channel forever and things that people request. But it's like, when I'm on track, people have an issue. It is the craziest thing. Cause I remember April, 2019, I'll never forget it. I, I was on track, I was doing really good. And people were like, you're so boring, you're so boring, you're so boring. Once I got off a of track, people stopped saying that. So we're just going through that again. And like, I see the comments, I see the analytics. I can compare from when I get the most engagement from when I don't. And when I'm losing weight, I get the less engagement. It's fine. It's something that I'm accepting. I am choosing my health over views. It's that the thing is though, as long as she keeps losing weight, if in a year's time from now, she's lost like 150 pounds or 200 pounds or even 100 pounds, whatever, and she keeps that up, she will gain a new subscriber base and all the people that are hate watching her will fall away eventually because she's not problematic. So she just got to keep doing what she's doing and then she'll, she'll gain a new audience and she will actually have a more supportive audience. She just has to try and not troll, which I'm sure is very difficult because obviously it's sometimes funny to troll, first of all, and second of all, it makes her money. But... Um, yeah, I think, I think she just needs to be consistent and she could become a more successful channel than what she is, in my opinion. That simple. Would you ever take online classes to get better at writing? Absolutely. I honestly would love to do that. I read some of my poetry from years ago and I literally cringe. Then I read poetry that I wrote just a couple months ago and I'm like, okay, she's good. Like I noticed that I do get better with poetry as the time goes on. So I feel like if I took a class, then I feel like I'd be I'd be pretty decent. I'm not gonna say my poetry is perfect because it's not, but I'm definitely getting better. I love writing poetry. It is such a great form of expression. I truly don't think that you need to be good at poetry to enjoy it. I wanna know why you blamed Becky for not being able to travel, but now it seems like you blame your weight now. And Becky is out there living her best life and traveling all over Kentucky. She's traveling to her sister's backyard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, the shade. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny though. Yeah. I love Becky. I actually recently hung out with her. I hung out with her the day I got sick, which is crazy. But Becky knows she went through a big portion of our relationship where she did not want to travel. It was due to anxiety. And now she does want to travel. And I think that's awesome. I really have always told her there is more to this world than just your hometown. And I've always encouraged her to explore it. And I'm glad that she wants to do that now. But the traveling all over Kentucky part, that made me LOL. That was good. That was funny. Why do other people have to work on sick days, but you can take off? Why can't- Most people don't have to work on sick days though. It depends on how sick you are. But if your employer lets you come into the office when you're sick, they are highly irresponsible because you could basically contaminate a whole office and make everybody sick. Um, like I'm not talking about maybe like I don't know, you know, you know how sick you are yourself, but if you're sick sick, you should not go into work. You should not be that annoying person that sits across the desks, that's coughing every two seconds, spreading their fucking viruses and bacteria, na 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 na. If you have to come into work, your, your employer is really irresponsible. Can't you treat YouTube, your job, as an actual job? YouTube isn't conventional at all. And yes, there are some jobs where you can take off when you're sick and some jobs where you can't. Regardless, no matter what job I was doing, getting cellulitis, I could not work. So I am treating it like a real job. Okay, so this is gonna be the last one. What's something you like that people would be surprised by? It could be anything. So I'm only gonna say this because when I do mention that I love this, people do get shocked. I love car racing. I used to go when I was younger with my dad. I used to follow the rally for a while. I was like really into the rally. Not the Formula One, that's a bit boring to me, but the the, the World Rally, I thought that was fucking cool. Like the, the way they do it with like the little tulips and notes and just like, it's just crazy how they're just, it's just funny to watch how they're fast they're going on all of these country roads, all bumpy up and down. And then the, 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 the coordinator, the guy that, that reads out like the road, like four, four left, blah, 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 whatever they say. I can't remember what they say now. Okay, okay good, good.
I can't remember what it is they say now, but they're like booming down these like tiny little narrow roads, like 150 miles an hour. And the guy that sits there reading is just like super chill, reading out like the little footnotes on where the road goes. Mental. So I kind of grew up with it when I was living with my parents. I have been to NASCAR. I don't know. I just, something about it excites me and I enjoy it. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Tomorrow we have a Wednesday weigh-in, but I'm going to film what I want, upload what I want, and I just hope that you guys stop on by and watch my content if you want. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Okie dokie. Well, guys, that is also my cue to go. So, thanks a lot for watching. There's not a lot, to, a lot to add for it for me because she's doing this Q and A, so it's just kind of more just like an, like an actual just reaction, really, isn't it? Like old school. Yeah, there's not a lot for me to add to that. Um, so therefore, I'm going to go. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you dislike it. Let me know down below why. Insert a car emoji, a racing car emoji, if that even exists. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Next Monday, there will be another giveaway. So stay tuned for that if you want to participate in the next Phoenix Rising for free. Bye.